Welcome to Extra Scottish. I'm Callum Blackstock. I'm Scottish. This week's trailers. The first one here isn't a trailer, but it's uh, the announcement of Spider-Man um, No Way Home. They made a little bit of fun of Tom Holland here uh, because he was notorious for leaking uh, information. So uh, they have them inside the production studio and uh, Zendaya, Tom Holland and Jacob Batalon are uh, walking out of the office and, and Tom Holland's like, oh, I've been fed another fake uh, title. And, and they've been leaking these things online and Twitter and stuff. It, it, basically anything that links with home, they've thrown up there. And uh, Sendai's like, well, I mean, he's like, well, why would they do that, Tom Holland? Sendai's like, well, because you keep leaking stuff, you know. <laughs> um, but then they walk past this... Uh, board the inspiration board and it has the title spider-man no way home so it was kind of fun that that they did this uh in this way you know i thought it was a little different to do and it got the hype going as far as the title goes i mean you tell me if you like it um it links in all of them are the home thing it seems like no way home maybe this is the multiverse thing that's going to happen there's rumors of some of the uh, of the the other Spider-Man from the other Spider-Man movies uh, being in it, and they're shutting those rumors down, but maybe they will be. Uh, I guess Jamie Foxx is going to come back into it, so who knows what's going to happen, but um, he's he seems like he's not going to be able to make it home. No way home. All right, The Batman. Now, yes, we've seen tons of Batman movies, the whole Christian Bale series, uh, I love, like, that's uh, definitely a favourite of mine. I like doing the Batman voice, you know. I like the the Joker uh, movie um, with Joaquin Phoenix. So the whole franchise around Batman is great. Obviously, the Justice League is not living up to that. Uh, I, don't, I don't think Ben Affleck, for example, was appalling, but just the whole thing... Uh, wasn't really working so the way they've gone here with uh um robert patterson it's uh it looks like it's it's gonna be super good it's uh the sort of film noir kind of like gothic kind of look at it um in the trailer it's it's like you're really supposed to get built up and be scared of uh, of of the penguin right uh, sorry not the penguin the the riddler but I don't know when when Batman pops up and they're like, "Who are you?" and he's like, "I'm vengeance," and just starts proceeding to hammer the guy. I felt like you know maybe Batman's up, definitely up to this task here. So uh, I'm not nervous for Batman winning this particular battle. Um, we'll wait and see in that one, but. To me, it looked pretty cool. I know they filmed some of this in uh, Glasgow, Scotland, which definitely has the, the sort of gothic buildings there that 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 fit that. So it, it'll be cool to see that um, when, when that comes out, just to see that some of the scenes that were shot in Scotland. So um, Batman, one of my favorites, hyped for this movie. I think it's going to be good. Nobody with uh, Bob Odenkirk. Um, we know him from Breaking Bad and uh, Better Call Saul. And, you know, obviously in that he's like the sleazy lawyer and, uh, you know, definitely not a gritty fighter or anything like that. And the whole point here is this this guy is uh, a nobody um, and he just has a family. But then someone uh, breaks into his house and he seemed to handle that um, and come to find out he's this kind of elite assassin kind of guy and he he just once they reveal that in the trailer it just goes ballistic and i get the feeling that's what the film's going to be like there's going to be a sort of semi-comedic feel of of building up to uh to the crescendo of finding out who this guy really is and then it's just going to be uh, a blood fest of obliteration um, <clears throat> i'm guessing here so um yeah, for me, I, I'd slot this into uh, what I call my category of, uh, of nah, there's nothing else on, I'll give it a whirl. That's where I would put this. So, um, yeah, 
that that's it's definitely what we've seen before. I mean, uh, I'm thinking like uh, a long kiss, good night. That that's that's a goodie. Just Samuel L. Jackson alone in that movie is is amazing. So uh, that kind of feel, I, I don't think is going to be as good as that. Probably it's just going to be a standard. But um, but yeah, I I like uh, Bob Odenkirk, so I, I think it could be at least fun. Minions, Rise of Gru, they keep coming with the Despicable Me stuff, the Minions and all that. I, we're just not tired of it yet, I, I don't think. I'm not, so I kind of wanted to see at the end of the first Minions where you see Gru and I'm like, yes, I love it. And Steve Carell um, is, is just so good. Yeah, I love his voice. No one seems to be bored of the Minions yet, so I'm, I'm all for them exploring his uh, origin story and the vicious six uh, it seemed pretty cool too so he's gonna steal the medallion or uh, prove himself to be a great villain uh, with the help of the minions uh, i really liked what sabotage came on uh, the last movie i saw where where that was used uh, perfectly was in uh, star trek the the second of the newer star trek movies um, where they beam up and they use sabotage uh, I thought that was super cool um, so the use of that in any trailer is always going to work for me uh, that's go back and watch that music video um, for people who don't know to Beastie Boys get please but yeah so I, I like that part I like that Otto when he uh, has to explain how he lost the medallion that Gru stole um, and uh, it's just classic minion stuff. So I'm I'm up for it. Um I'm I'm not bored bored with it yet. So uh worth a go, I think. The Father uh starring Anthony Hopkins and Olivia Coleman, uh, who we know most recently from The Crown where she does a great job there. This movie is uh, the the father there, Anthony Hopkins. He's um He's getting dementia. He's beginning to lose a grip of reality and understanding what's going on. He delivers. I mean, in the trailer alone, he, he, he it just seems Oscar worthy. Just looking at the trailer uh, without even touching actually seeing the movie. Now, I started watching the movie last night. I have with the um, SAG Awards. They they send it to me. So, like, I started watching that movie last night. Uh, I've not finished it yet, but. Yes, it, it doesn't let you down. Uh, he's amazing in this. Anthony Hopkins, I'm pretty sure that's front-runner stuff for Oscars. For me, obviously, this is from a play, and it works. It works well. I did um, the One Night in Miami also. That was a, a play, and I feel like that I, I did a review of that. That transfers over nicely to film. I think this has done too. Uh, you can tell in the trailer it's... Uh, it's for for such a, a tough subject and it, he just plays it on each level of it so well like he's comical um and he's intense I, honestly like once you start watching i'll do the review uh after i finish watching it of, of of the movie and i'll talk about it a bit there but for me there was like oh my goodness hannibal lecter is is in this room at one moment i thought he was just gonna go uh, Hannibal on them, but uh, but yeah, this is this is a, gr a great uh, great trailer I thought, and uh, it, it got me hyped enough that I went and watched the movie that very night. So that's the point of a trailer, and and it worked. All right, so uh, that's the trailers for this week. Um, catch me again next week for for some more trailers. Uh, look forward to it.